Welcome to my fish room. Okay, so we're back here at the uh, beautiful pond. They had a mink come by and live, and they lost some of their fish. Uh, I still see some of the big, beautiful ones. I don't see the dark orange. Oh, there he is. Ah, uh, hopefully he just got cheap ones. Okay, so we're going to go try to find the water again, like we do every other year. Living in hope, dreams. You know how it is, me, the eternal optimist. Yes, my son, he'll be good someday. He won't cause his father grief. And that's one of those hopes that I've had for a long time. And, of course, the boy thinks he's reasonable. Okay, now where was that? Was it here? You know, it wouldn't really help if I'd actually remember these things. Is it far over enough? Is it here? No, it's not there, so it's gotta be here. Why do we get covered up every year? <sighs> yeah, let's get a stick. Mighty stick. That is it. There it is. Okay. And turn it off. I'll leave my stick. That may not help me. We'll see next spring. You guys will be back with me because, well, who else is going to do it? So. Okay, we have limited battery left because, of course, we've got to charge the battery. Okay. Okay, so now take uh, one of the dirty pails, wash it out, and then put water in every one of these bags. Okay. Don't put too much because, remember, we got to carry it. All right, so I'm going to conserve the battery. I'll turn it off for a bit. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, to everybody in YouTube land, it'll seem like just a moment's pass, but it's actually the next day. So we were doing the video about taking the fish out of the pond, and we were, you know, low battery life, so we were just shooting a little bit, a little bit, and then things went horribly south. <laughs> we already had Jay with me because I pulled the muscle in my back, and we're getting better from that, but... Uh, Jay helps me bag up the fish most years. So I missed the last couple, but uh, I was going for the one fish, and I caught the fish, and I gave it to Jay. And then I wanted to get across to the pond to get the other side, and down I went. Catching my hand on a rock, either broken or sprained, we don't know, but I do know it hurts like anything. And of course, I smashed my cheek into a rock. So we finished off the day, we did the customers and then, of course, Fritz, he's like, Carl, you gotta go to the doctor, you gotta go to the doctor, you gotta go to the doctor. Because otherwise I wouldn't go to the doctor. So, to a piece, Fritz, I went to the doctor, and he wrote out a thing, you gotta get an x-ray stat. By this time, it's quarter after five. The x-ray place closes at six. So I run across the road uh, to the x-ray place, and I go in, and it's 5.30, and uh, hand in the thing, and it says stat, and the other guy that came for an x-ray, they said, okay, you book an appointment, come back tomorrow. And then I hear the nurse saying, who does an x-ray stat at this time of the day? And I said, me, I just did this. Like, they want to find out if it's broken. And if it wasn't for my wife, I wouldn't be here. You mean she did this to you? I said, no, 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 no. I do this to myself. She just actually cares about my health and wants me to live. So she made me cup. Okay. So he gave me, uh, he did the x-ray. And he says, okay, we'll phone the results to Christ. And I said, well, thank you. Talk to your folks, it's at 5.30. It's already 5.30, so it's now 10-something the next day, and I haven't heard anything, which I'm hoping and clinging to is, oh, yeah, Carl, it's not broken, so we're in no rush. Okay, but uh, 
it's all swollen up. I had it all padded up all night, and uh, we never did complete the video, but the fish were moved very safely, very well. Jay carried them all in because, well, I can't carry nothing now. And uh, so this is kind of a pond video that ended different. Okay, bye.